Hey everyone, it's Angler. Welcome to the video. Glad to have you here. Today we'll be taking a look at Save the World Home Base Status Report 3.3. Get ready to save the world in style, Commanders. Take a look at what's in store this week for Save the World. As you can see, it finally hit. The cosmetics, outfits, and back blings are here in Save the World. Dress to impress with outfits and back blings now available in your home base locker. Additionally, the home base locker now saves independently from the BR and any changes you make in one mode will not affect the other. So, I know a lot of people are happy that this is here. How do outfits and back bling work? Now you select one outfit and back bling you own in BR in Save the World Locker and that look will apply to your hero regardless of which hero you have as your commander. I tried this out already. I was Sergeant Knox and used one of the skins from the BR. It was actually pretty cool. Want to use the lower rarity outfit? You got it. You are no longer limited to the appearance of your hero based on their current rarity. You can choose any style you already unlocked. So if you have a tier 5 legendary hero such as Rescue Trooper Ramirez, you'll be able to choose any of her lore, rarity, and tier in your locker. Which I like because there was a couple of heroes when I leveled up I wish I could revert to their previous look. Love the way your original commander looks? No problem. Your commander's default appearance for both hero back blings are available and always listed first in your locker's choice. I'm actually happy about that because take for example Lynx. I really don't care for her final form whatsoever. I enjoyed her first two so now I can select any one that I want. So that is actually kind of nice. What about retroactive cosmetics? Homebase is still working on support for these cosmetics. So they'll be coming, you know, soon as they can. Now, when I saw this, I thought to myself, oh boy, another bow, Cloud Burst Bow, the power of steampunk in a bow form, eliminate Hust to drop a devastating cloud of steam. So, here it is, another bow. I kind of wish it was something different because it seems like all the new weapons they have been bringing out have been nothing but bows. And it will be available from the weekly store starting March 4th at 7 p.m. Eastern until March 11th at 7 p.m. Eastern. Up next we have Battle Hounds Jonesy. Release this hound on the husk. Standard perk, Rucksack. Increase frag grenade maximum charge by 1. The commander perk, increase frag grenade maximum charges by 4. So I guess if you really like using Frag Grenade, he will be the hero to turn to. Available from the event store starting March 6th at 7 p.m. Eastern until April 3rd at 7 p.m. Eastern. Now we have the new Spy Llamas available in the shop, which to be quite honest, I thought the Lunar Llamas are going to be around a little bit longer, but I'm glad to see the change. Crack open this new Llama and harness the power of the new spy weapon set so it's out right now go get your tickets and open it up I've got some really interesting items from it so far some new weapons which I am looking forward to trying out also we have the war games events quest each war game simulation type offers a one-time completion quest which rewards event tickets and unique banner rewards to show off your accomplishment this week challenges are Hex and the Invasion. And I'll tell you what, and when you have Hex with no traps, that's something else. That's really hard to beat. So go head on in, beat these challenges, and get your stuff. And I know definitely I will. Put your best outfits forward. Commanders will see you in game. And also you can see here, there are some bug fixes as well. Players being able... Or actually, players being unable to collect items from the interact key.
players unable to revive themselves while D, B, and O, Xbox controllers, D-pad, and analog sticks becoming unresponsive when entering the Omri tab. And also UI becoming unresponsive after opening the social friends menu panel and then navigating to the inventory settings UI. So as you can see here, it's actually a rather big home base status report that we have going on. Mostly it is the cosmetics and the llamas in my opinion, the bow. I'll probably just test it out a handful of times and I don't know if I will actually play it. So there it is folks. Let's go in and use our new outfits, right? All right, guys, I really want to thank you for watching the video today. And I would like to hear from you guys. Are you excited that all this cosmetics hit save the world? Or would you rather see some more actual new content? All right, so don't if this is your first time visiting the channel, don't forget to hit that like button and then smash that like button. I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.